pathetic workout. So this is you and you've put on an extra few pounds. Well, right now, are you going to do it or not? Chances are you say no and you watch me do the video. I've done that a million times before, trying to work out, work out, work out. I'm not going to do it. So today we're going to start out the loser workout, the failure workout, the try, try again workout, because let's be frank, uh, we have absolutely no desire to do this and it's not fun. The only p fun part about all of this is maybe when it's over with, you're going to feel good about yourself. So here we go. Oh gosh. Don't want to get off the bed. But first trip is to the bathroom. And no, I'm not here for relieving myself. And as you can see, I probably need to sometime soon. But I'm not here for that. What I'm here to is recheck my scale because I probably... This is not the first time I've tried to lose weight. And it's not the first time you've tried to lose weight. So we're going to try to try this time again. But it's been unsuccessful so for so many times. And we're going to weigh ourselves. This is the starting weight. Hopefully we don't go up tomorrow. I've had a lot of Mountain Dews today. I've had a lot of food and my wife stacks it on that plate delicious. I had about four or five pieces of chicken and some salad too. <laughs> you know, not feel guilty about the stuff, but let's go on that scale, see where we're at. Let's call this day one, even if we know that this is not day one, this is day one, once again, once again, once again, once again, after lots and lots of failures. So let's try day one again and see what happens where our fatness starts after losing some weight last time unsuccessfully losing gaining it all back and probably more so let's see where we start today okay so this is we all have to be honest with ourselves and air because it doesn't doesn't accept so much weight probably let's try it again and 270 oh wait a minute it's it's fluctuating 277 which is good, it's a good start. 277, at least we know we're almost to the ideal maximum weight that I've ever been at, which is 284. And so I'm just about five, seven, what is that? Ten, uh, eight pounds away from my maximum weight. That means I'm starting at a better place than I started before. Already a plus right there, but let's face it, this is try to try, so I'm gonna just try I'm gonna do my first workout today, even though you know it's not the first workout. All right, I'm extremely unmotivated to do this. I'm gonna go ahead and try it out. First, I'm gonna do some curls. My neck really hurts on this. It's harder than I thought. I tried there. You have to hook that up to the right. bench first. Oh, okay, that's the problem. Hook up to... I was wondering if my arms had given out all the way. It's not the first time you've ever worked out. This is the last time, or the first time, the last time, or the first time. I'm not exactly sure how that works, but the reality is that this is not the first time you've ever tried to lose weight. It takes a rocket scientist to make these machines work. Okay, I think we're ready now. The important thing here is to forget about form. You're trying to try. Anything's a plus from nothing. So we're at zero now. And something is incredible going to happen right here. Watch. Oh, gosh. I'm not going to tell you that was easy. We're at one. So that's better than zero. I want to do five. Oh, God. That's a lot harder than last year. Last year, I was able to three. Or you want to get these out as soon as possible. Five. You want to get these reps out as soon as possible. Forget about form and everything else because otherwise, if you take too long doing anything, you're not going to do it. You know, I'm going to be frank with you. This is not one of those, oh, this works. You're going to lose a million pounds. No. Reality is, we all know that muscles burn fat faster than being fat, burning fat. And I, I know that's hard to understand, but, you know, your blubber in there, your stomach is not going to burn fat. But if you can get some muscles in there, 
even if you only work out and lose about, uh, you know, burn about 50 calories, which is nothing. It's a bite of a mush of a of a, of a marshmallow or whatever you're having in there. Um, what's nice about it is it stacks on top of each other. So if I can get those arms that have almost no muscle, you see there's a little bit left there, <laughs> but almost no muscle, and I'm sure that this gives me some muscle there, but almost no muscle. If I can get some muscle in there, then maybe next time I'll lose 51 calories in, you know, I'll burn 51 calories in a burnout, you know, workout and, and so forth, and that will escalate and, and accumulate until finally one day, I don't know when, and the reality is I don't know when, how long this takes. We're going to take the journey, the fat journey together, and we're going to try to at least try. This is the try to at least try workout, and so I'm not making any promises of losing weight. I'm just going to try to try, okay? So, okay, I'm going to do some um, bench presses. So let's just, five, five's good. One. Two, three, just do it fast because to get it over it. Five. Oh, I'm gonna do six. That's it. Take a little breather. Those muscles have not come in. It's because you quit every time. Let's try not to quit this time. So having a workout partner works in two ways. It unmotivates you because they try to motivate you to do more sets than you want to. And so in this case, starting out. I've been unmotivated to motivate to do two sets, not one, because it's losery to do only one set. So given that, I really don't want to do two sets. I want to do this on my terms, but I'm going to do two sets. And, and maybe some more curls. I feel good. I feel good. I feel great. I feel wonderful. Okay. One, two, three. I know that motivation is not going to keep me going. I know that telling myself this time I'm going to do it is not going to work out. And I know that this time I'm going to say, well, I'm going to eat less and etc. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. I'm just going to try to try. That's it. That's all I can give you.